We are exactly a week from Shavuot. That's the holiday on which we receive the Torah. And at the time of the temple, we used to go, it was one of the holidays, and make a pilgrimage to the Temple Mount, the Beit HaMikdash. But I want to take this opportunity to ask you to do something. There are many people that, if you look around you, are basically invisible. The people that we don't pay attention to. So I ask you, what, the first thing is, and I'm not talking about CIA operative or special, you know, or special forces and that are invisible. And people that we see that we just choose to ignore. I want you to go to them and bring them to the light. Say hello to them. When you go to shul, acknowledge their existence. Don't make those people invisible anymore. We need to acknowledge them. When you see it, the second thing I'm going to ask you, don't wait to somebody to come to you and tell you, listen, can you help me? We all know the signs of a person that is in distress or a person that needs help. Don't wait for them to come and tell you, listen, buddy, I need help. Since we all know the signs, don't choose to ignore them. Go to them beforehand and say, can I help you? Let me help you. That's what the Torah commands us. If you're going to see your brother crushing under the burden of life, help him out. If we are commanded by the Torah to help our, our, our enemies, or the people that we so-called hate, unload their donkey, even more so, to our brothers as well. I'm sure that if you're going to sit down and you're going to think about people that you knew, even guys who came to yeshiva, and for whatever reason just evaporated, disappeared. I'm not going to tell you it's on you. Sit down and reach out to them. Pick up the phone. Say, how are you doing? How are you? Why don't you come? Let's learn together. We'll do something. Make a chavuta. Come to Shior. Wish them Shabbat Shalom. Take advantage of technology to acknowledge the people. Send them Shabbat Shalom. And then next week, call them up. And then the week after, say, listen, you want to hang around? We'll have a cup of coffee. You might tell me, oh, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. That's Bitul Torah. I say, no, no, no. It's not Bitul Torah. The whole existence of the Torah is Kamocha. Would you like to be disacknowledged? Would you like to be visible? Do you remember a year ago when we celebrated Shavuot during the closure? We were all invisible. We were all irrelevant. So you're going to reach out. I'm asking you to reach out to each and every one of the people that you know. And I'm sure that when you go to shul, there are people that you never say hello to. You never say good Shabbos. So you go to him and say, listen, Shabbat Shalom. I will look at you like this. Say, Shabbat Shalom, how are you? If they make Kiddush and Shul, I don't think Kiddush and Shul should be sitting down. Yes, I know it's not Kavadik to eat while you stand. But the Kiddush of Shul, if you're already having it, it's not for you to get a freebie, to get a smorgasbord, it's to put people together. To be a, an informal way to mingle with one another. And that's very important. So reach out to people. Reach out to people that usually don't reach out. Don't wait for somebody to be in distress. Reach out to them. Remember, no Jew left behind. And I really mean that. There's no Jew should be invisible. I'm sure that everybody is in the community, people who are invisible, reach out to them. If you're lucky to have in your community a Holocaust survivor, a war veteran, reach out to them. 
I remember years ago I was sitting down with your brother at the bagel's place and I saw a pack of veterans, Jewish veterans. Some of them were for the 80, 82nd, you know, they're all, you know, from the, from the unit. And I went to there. I was very, I was very moved by their, com, you know, the, the camaraderie. They were together. And I went to them and I said to them, guys, I just want to tell you, thank you for your service. Thank you for everything you did. These are the people who fought in World War II. These are the people who fought in Korea. You ever go and acknowledge to a veteran, even if it's not Jewish? I said, thank you for your service. Because they did something that you were not supposed to do. That you, you, you were not willing to do. They gave, they put their life in risk for the benefit of all. Almost unconditionally. And veterans, in, in our society, veterans are completely invisible. If you have a place to, to volunteer, go to the VA, help them. These are the real people that, that we're able to be free by. These are, the, these are the reasons. So don't make people invisible. It's time to bring them out to the light. Acknowledge. If you see, you know, I remember I, I was at a time with Smitty at the place where the, you know, we were in the store. So I saw a guy who was with uniform. And, you know, there were meters there. At the time, there were meters. He was looking for, for a coin. He said, oh, he doesn't have a coin. I went to him. I said, listen, brother, here. I give it to you. He said, oh, thank you. I said, how much? No, no, no. I gave him a dollar for, just to put the meter in. And I said to him, and by the way, thank you for your service. You see a guy in uniform? Thank you for your service. You see a policeman? I say, thank you. And that practice... Through that would also eventually teach you that there are also Jewish people who are invisible. And we should acknowledge their existence. So take this time, especially in Shavuot, if you are staying up. I don't know if you guys are staying up in Shavuot or not staying up. If you're staying up in Shavuot, you see somebody sitting there alone. Call them over. Leave your Hevruta to the side. Bring him over. So say, come join us. Sit down with us and learn. I'll make you a cup of coffee. Stay up. How about a cup of coffee? Sit down. Nothing will happen for you to you if you're going to offer somebody a cup of coffee to sit down with you. Be nice to them. Reach out to them. You want to make it on a train? You want to make it to the ticket? That's how you're going to earn your ticket. Have a wonderful day. And wait, before I forget, if you have questions, you can reach out to this rabbi go on gmail.com. You can visit the yeshiva, both in yeshivaetzion.com and on our Instagram and on our YouTube uh, channels over there. And don't forget, if you are, we also have a merchandise store if you would like to help the yeshiva and then in return get a very cozy, wonderful sweatshirt and a t-shirt, you can do so. The t-shirt, the logo in the back is the logo of the yeshiva with J-S-A-R, Jewish Search and Rescue. And that's the attitude that I want you to have. You're looking for people, you don't leave them behind. Have a wonderful day.